You're a mechanic, right? Right. Why don't you just build something? Got a little bit of a different video today. So as you can see in the workshop, hard at work. We've got uh, whatever, whatever this thing is. We've also got these circles of mirrors right here. Very sciencey stuff going on as you can see. Also created a new voice assistant. Isn't that right? I wish you never brought me into this horrible world. Must be a bug or something. Point is new frogs are coming soon. But I had an idea that led to this video. So as you know, the current Iron Man movies, they're coming to an end, but Tony Stark, He's evolved a lot over the course of the movies, and so has all of his gadgets and his suits. Now I personally over the years have made quite a few Iron Man related gadgets, so I thought it'd be fun to do a little revisit reaction compilation thing to all those old projects that I made, just to kind of see how they evolved. Now if this sounds boring to you, I'm, I'm sorry I wasted however many seconds of your time. Alright then, let's get into this. It's a style thing. Jesus Christ, my hairline. Started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> okay, let's go way back. Starting it off with the duct tape wrist flamethrower. Backstory, this is a flamethrower I made when I was 12 years old. Little pyromaniac Jake. Um, so there you go. Uh, that video, actually, when I uploaded it, it was like the first video that passed like 100 views or something on my channel. Um, and I was so pumped about it. But then my mom made me take it down because she thought it was really dangerous. Which it is, to be fair. She's definitely had a point there, um, especially for someone at that age. I don't recommend doing this, by the way. Yeah, so all in all, actually pretty simple design. But I remember this taking me so long to build. I was so happy to like record it and show it off and like see the reaction of all my friends. Uh, so yeah, that was definitely one of the things that sparked this whole channel. I just thought it'd be a cool video to share with you guys. Moving on a little bit later, I'd say I'm probably like 14, 15 now. This is when I first created the channel. I've been doing YouTube for probably like six years now. This stuff does not happen overnight. How to make a wrist laser gun. Let's check it out. Uh, quality shots. Quality filming. <laughs> Intro music. Made that myself. Uh, this is a video on how to make a wrist laser gun. <laughs> so, oh, first we're gonna need it. All right, so let's go try it out. Pop balloons. Yes, a classic. Okay, wow, that was painful. Just gonna, just gonna push through. Okay, so a bit later, I actually made like a full Iron Man like glove thing. Uh, probably the biggest build that did it this time. So let's give it a, let's give it a little, little watch. Hey guys, I have finally finished my Iron Man glove. So here it is. New graphical intro. That actually kind of looks cool. Oh my God. Yeah, this, I remember this is complex for that time. This is like a big endeavor. So as you just saw, it is completely functional. It has two lights on the hand, five other LEDs, three lasers, two servos, and a flamethrower. The knob on the side can control the servo's position as well as the output of the lights. Good, you know what? I rate it. Good job. Definitely a step up with the editing. Then I moved on to a fully functional Iron Man suit. I think this was like junior year of high school. Uh, and again, I did like multiple parts of this. So this was probably the biggest build of that time. Basically, uh, I'm gonna be creating an Iron Man type suit. Okay, that was a cool drawing. Actually, that's a cool design. Took some LEDs and used them for the eyes, so you couldn't see them when they were off, but you could see them when they were on. So like, the eyes would light up 
That's pretty cool. Let's, let's just watch the final part though. Do not attempt anything you see in this video. All stunts are dangerous and should not be duplicated. Ooh, new graphic intro. Let's say you tell, we're on the up and up. Wrist airsoft gun, 3D printed parts. Ooh, that shot was dramatic. Oh, it had backpack lights too. Lasers in the arms, of course. It's like lights across the chest. Ooh, that's cool. I forgot about this. <laughs> Giant flamethrower. I think it was unsafe and copyrighted, so I don't even know if you can watch this. I remember we filmed this literally in like the side of the road. Like about as sketch as you can get. <laughs> Some dude in an Iron Man suit. All right, now we're in college, and this is when I started to like really start taking YouTube seriously. For my freshman year in college, I uploaded every other day. As a full-time student, it was a grind. This was when the wrist lighter flamethrower was born. Then I moved on to another laser glove because you know you gotta refresh it every now and again. Editing, definitely more up to par. Finally upgraded the camera, thank God. Yeah, this is when I started getting into like edits. Again, this is when I was going like every other day, so these builds aren't gonna be as complex as they were. Hey, what is going on guys? What is going on guys? I definitely learned to add some emphasis to the voice. No one wants to listen to anyone say like, uh, what, what's what's going on guys? Now, in this video, we're gonna make a USB, you just like dead in the eyes. Like, like a normal conversation, the other person talks back. Or if you're filming a YouTube video, like you have to do all the talking. Which is one thing that's a little frustrating. Point is, it's tough to act personable. If you're just in a room alone, talking to a camera, like um, sometimes it does get a bit cringy, but uh, doing the best I can. Okay, then over the last summer, I did another Iron Man suit. Uh, this is when I started showing my face in the videos. Yeah, definitely, definitely a little camera shy, but as I was saying before, like it's even harder to be personable if you're not on the camera at all, like you're just hands in a video. We took the leap, yeah, my face is in the videos for better, better for worse. So this is when I got the studio too. Obviously I'm, a, I'm abroad now, don't have the, all the resources. Honestly, part of the reason why I'm doing videos like this and uh, you know, smaller builds. You also gotta live your life too. Anyways, let's jump back into it. So for this adaptation of the suit, we've got right here the fully automatic airsoft adaption. Ooh, you guys seeing that? I don't know if this camera's picking it up. All right, so next up, guys, we got the paintball attachment. So now we're getting into some newer stuff. We've got a fire sword right here. And we're shooting fire again. All right guys, so this device right here, it's a classic Jelly Laser video wrist flamethrower. Ready for this? Oh yeah! Woohoo! Ah. Let's go. I'm sorry, what was that? There's a huge flame. 
<laughs> this might be my favorite actually like like imagine like a swarm of mosquitoes you're just pissing you off or something everyone else is like swatting them around and you're just like just just done KO'd you just can't beat that you know like okay so here's another video I did I did an Iron Man sword edit a lot of people said I over edited it though which I understand and I usually try and put in parts where like non edited parts just to kind of demo and then after that I do like a cool edit or whatever all right guys so that is the evolution of my Iron Man projects might do more in the future but as I said honestly I'm trying to get into the more complicated stuff clearly I've done a lot of Iron Man stuff so like un unless I can find a really cool spin to put on it I'm probably gonna focus on other things I've been doing a lot of research on drones so I can hit the ground running for my human flying drone running it back but as you can see there's clearly some evolution from the first video I made to now. This stuff did not happen overnight. It's been probably six years in the making. So anybody who might want to do YouTube or really anything like that, you just have to keep doing it. And if you love doing it, your passion for it will make you successful. For me personally, I love doing this. And I think one way I want to improve is making quality videos that you guys want to come back to watch every single one of. So if you have any suggestions on ways I can improve my videos, make them more entertaining, what you like, what you don't like about them, any ideas, leave them down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Take it easy and we will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.